Okay, it's August 4th, quarter after 7, looking at a Lawson TLC, I picked this up at uh, the Jacktown Swap Meet in May, and uh, about two days ago I started to work on it. The uh, It's a complete engine, I have all the parts for it, it's not missing anything. Uh, Got sparked no problem, just had to uh, clean the points and that thing fires great. I, uh, I noticed it was quite low on compression, there was practically none when I got it, so I figured I'd pull the head off and do the valves. I found some serious piston slop. You can't really tell too well. This is not all the way in the bore, but it is bad. Also, when you crank the engine over, just turning it by hand, you can hear and feel a lot of mechanical clanking, a lot of uh, loose fitting parts on the inside. Let me get my flashlight, I'll give you a shot of the inside. It's pretty nasty in there. Some surface rust on some pieces and uh, a lot of sludge. Anyway, uh, as far as the pistons goes, piston is very rough. Lots of uh, small scores, nothing too serious. Certainly well worn. Uh, I get a quite a serious problem here the uh, the casting between the first and second compression ring is broken away I guess it's about an inch and a half long spot there Let's see these two small pieces here actually the aluminum of the piston broke away so this piston is going to be unusable also the wrist pin has very considerable play in the piston as well yeah, yeah, it's very it's very rounded out also in the connecting rod See all that play right there. Yeah, that, that wouldn't have lasted too long if it was running. The uh, connecting rod had a lot of uh, side to side play on the crankshaft. However, uh, as far as you know, vertical play went, it was pretty, it was pretty sound. I didn't, you know, feel a whole lot. The bearing of the crank looks worn, but uh, you know, in fair shape. Same goes for the end cap. Just some pitting there. Might be able to shim that. And you can see where it was wearing. Here. But uh, if I can have this connecting rod ward out and a new wrist pin made, I should be able to save it. As far as the piston goes, uh, I'm not sure what other Lawson engines use the, this size piston. If they're common, I'm not even sure what the, the bore of this engine is. I guess it's maybe two, two and a half inches, I would say. Maybe two inch, two and a quarter, I don't know. Um, other than that, the valves weren't actually that bad. They were, they were dirty and, you know, weren't sealing well, but they're not pitted or anything. And uh, they're not very loose in their valve guides. So, the thing is, there's, and their PTO bearing, there's some play as well there.
Might as well replace that. It's a ball bearing. Um, same on the mag side. It's a ball bearing, which is nice. So, keep you updated on it. If anybody uh, has had any experience with these TLCs and knows uh, of a piston that I can swap out, uh, I'd like to hear it.